The Flash, issue 779, Jeremy Adams writing with Brent Peoples and Fernando Passarin on the art. And this is exciting because Matt is caught up and has also read this yep. this new issue of The Flash, so I don't have to go on my own anymore. So last issue, the kids uh, basically realized that Dad was in trouble because uh, Jay could sense it now that he's got his powers back. And very quickly, like, hey, we should go and help him. And they take Maxine with them, uh, who who has to sort of mention like, sort of quickly that she has animal powers at some point. I, mm. I do love, though, right before the teleport, though, she's like, wait, we have to go help your dad? Who's your dad? <laughs> and then the, the yeah. teleport is like, the flash is there. It's like, oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's just, she mentions that she's connecting to some weird like, alien animals and stuff in Gem World at one point. She's like, there's, there's like a slug outside that has like this high sense of smell that can mm-hmm. tell when someone's lying. Because that's important at one point because Opal's trying to say that he's going to help again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so no, nah, good fun stuff. Uh, you know, obviously Wally knows who Animal Man is. Uh, in fact, Maxine yeah. even introduces herself as Animal Girl, <laughs> which, like, which I loved. Yeah, that's that's good. So, um, so no, nah, good, good stuff all around here. Uh, like the the actual plot of like stopping Eclipso. It is just fine. Like, you know, they they yeah. have to, like, all the kids have to work together to, like, clear Wally a path so he can get in and use the spear to, to stab mm-hmm. Eclipso because it'll stop him. Um, I, I like Which, the, dull, the dull page spread where the, the big beam's going up from the crystal and it's like yeah. all, all the different aliens on these planets are starting to be mind controlled. Like, all that right, stuff was fun so. enough. Yeah. The stuff that's worked with me since coming back to this book is the family stuff with Wally. Mm-hmm. How his anchor for getting back, right, when he first got lost was his family um because that's the whole point of him having that race with wally when the surge happened or with barry was to go back and just try to leave as normal life as possible um and so just the fact that the kids are able to to come to him you know uh when when they they're needed and that jay is willing to sacrifice himself and deal with his pain to help his dad win the day I just, yeah. you know, Which gets there's a lot of good stuff there. By the end of the issue, because uh, Wally's got this surge of extra speed force that uh, mm-hmm. the Spectre says, hey, you can give that to your son to, to fix. Yeah, so after after he uses the, the, the spear on the, the vampire, whatever his name was, um, and saves the day, the, the Spectre comes to kind of collect Eclipso, who's now in this, this what do they call it, the glaive, which I, I hope shows back up, because I like any type of Eclipso mm. stuff, as, as we know. Um, but it, it ties into Eclipso's origin as a as an angel of vengeance, and how um, Sector's coming to clean up. Which I I kind of like all this kind of metaphysical stuff at play here in a flashbook, because normally we don't get that. It's all very sci-fi. Mm. Um, so for here they're they're talking about the one above all, and that how you know um, Wally is just kind of like well, you know. I just, I'm just trying to get back to my family and Sector's like, oh, well, this has all happened just, you know, because you're the perfect person to handle all this type of stuff. And I just really liked how, you know, you can think of the one above all as, as God with the big G or anything, but it's also kind of just, for me, I kind of read that as almost the fans who were just like, well, we want Wally to do something important. Sure. Yeah. You know, we've been wanting him forever. So this is, or maybe not the fans, maybe it's the writer here. And that he's going like, yeah, well, yeah, we did all this with Wally because we knew he could handle it and we wanted to give him something of importance to do. And that's why. And I just, it's really saccharine, but it just I, I, it really I, hit my heart. I think you know? the, the fans take on it, I think it works better than the writer because the writer feels a bit Maybe, egotistical. <laughs> Maybe but like. Put, put again, himself into the role of God. <laughs> yeah, but like. He is a creator, right? Jeremy Adams here is the creator, for lack of a better term. But yeah, but I, I think you know, looking at it, fans, it's more like we are the powers sure. that be that are sort of like striving you for, well, or you know, striving and wanting these way. things to work out. Uh, Joe, I really, like, I really like that when Maxine's running with, uh, with with Irie, uh, yeah. you, you know, obviously the way that they portray the animal powers is they have like the red sort of almost like green lantern Outline. construct of like an animal around yeah. her, right? I love that she's got like she's like embodying a cheetah. When she's running mm-hmm. with just, I mean, she would. I mean, even if Cheetah wouldn't keep up with a Flash speedster, but like the idea that she's keeping up better than she would otherwise because she's running yeah. at sixty miles an hour well, is she, kind of cool. She's using an alien animal, right? Because they got to be within close. Isn't uh, that how animal powers work? I I don't. I mean, uh, to an extent, but I think like 
Because uh, some of the other animals she's become are definitely not earthbound. Oh yeah, she 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 becomes yeah. like a giant claw thing at one point, and then like right. a giant like beast. It looks something. like one of the the, the worms from um, Tremors. Kind of. Yeah, graboid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, that, that's some of the more fun stuff in the mm-hmm. in those sequences. Um, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so obviously after that, the just lead darker back to normal. While he has his conversation with the specter, mm-hmm. um, and the comment, hey, okay, so he if he, he gives he fixes he fixes Jay so that Jay now mm-hmm. still has his powers, but he's not in pain anymore. So and he's got like a new name, Surge. yeah, because he's like, hey, Surge is a good name for a for a hero. So and I love Irie asking, hey, so like, how does my name work out now? Because when she took the impulse name, impulse wasn't around. Yeah. N- and he's kind of not around anymore either. Thanks, Bendis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, I wonder um, if we get her with the name Impulse. I, I just love that the, yeah. the kids got their own little storyline that then yep. tied into the main plot. Uh, mm-hmm. The big ending of the issue, though, is that, you know, they mention, oh, you know, mum must be worried. And we cut to we cut to Linda, and she's, like, trying to write a, a book. Clearly, it sounds like it's somewhat based on her husband's adventures, because she's yeah. talking about uh, uh, his... Red hair on Kempt and Long from years in isolation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but she's uh, trying to write a book and she gets like, you know, hungry and she gets up and then she notices the kids aren't there and she freaks mm-hmm. out. And then she runs outside and she super speeds. There's some lightning trailing from her. And there's a lot of, I mean, the joke here is that she uses one of the fake words she made in her, her little novel where she's, yeah. uh, she goes, oh, snargle bargle. Uh, so it's a funny little ending in the context of what was set up. But uh, yeah. Linda seems to have a little bit of powers right now, and I'm yeah. sure we're going to explore in the next few issues as to why, so, how, when. Here's my theory. Go on. She's pregnant. Ah, there you has go. Has a force baby, a speed force baby, and that by him fixing the speed force and doing all this, is that there's another one on the way, and as as long as she's you know as long as the baby's in utero. She'll have a tie to the Speed Force. Um, that would make some yeah. sense. Yeah. Or, or or just Speed Force, man. You don't have to explain anything, right? Yeah. And I call it a big way that would make enough sense for yeah. me. Um, no, uh, good time. Like I said, the family stuff, uh, and this is my favorite part about it as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm digging the focus they're getting. So. Uh, yeah. It just time. it also made me realize how sh- shitty of a fan I can be sometimes. Where I was like, I want Wally West back, and. Not like this. And then it was like, oh no, I just got through those first couple issues. Mm. Uh and it was yeah, it's it's a really fun read. I mean, I'm glad I'm glad I do listen when you talk about stuff. Uh, <laughs> Unlike it was some a clip people. That, yeah. It was a clip I'm listening, I'm me, just ignoring you. <laughs> it was a clip that brought me back, but then now really it's it's the West family and just again I brought it up on the show before, but like I'll never forget when Wally came back the first time um in the pages of of the lightning saga with jla or justice league and jsa and just i remember that feeling um and just like so here to have him back and after having him gone for you know however long and then kind of just he was there but not really the longest time like there's that weird titans book for a while but him being able to carry a flash title again just for me it means a lot no, good vibes, good vibes. Uh, all right, Matt, what are you giving the Flash? I'm gonna give this a let's go seven point five, and we didn't even really touch on the art. How? Not that it's all over the place because it's mostly fine, but there's some weird inks going on on some of the the pages where it's the same artist as earlier, but a different inker, and there's just an mm. inconsistency uh, throughout. But it's not like it's not a deal breaker. It didn't get my enjoyment. It's just something I noticed. But yeah, seven point five. Yeah, uh, I actually like I like the coloring quite a bit because it's just it's nice mm-hmm. and vibrant, and yeah. I, I think that's usually good for a flashback because you want the red to pop and you want, uh, it, I don't know. It just the, the, you want it to feel fun compared to you, you know. Whereas like a, a bat book, you might want more mute, moody, muted mm-hmm. colors potentially. Not always, but you might. Uh, yeah, so a straight seven for me. Like, I I don't think it's. I, I think the flash is a, a just a consistent seven out of ten for me, and it's it's delivering me something I want. It's scratching an itch that I have, without being exceptional, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be exceptional. Not everything has to be exceptional, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that was seven out of ten for me.